Hey guys, happy Monday, August 21st. Thank you so much for joining me. Call me Cookie. I'm here just trying to get some information out regarding the exactly protocol exploit that took place on the 18th. Uh, exactly Protocol is a lending and borrowing market on the Optimistic Network. I do just about 90% of my DeFi and investment related activity on Optimism Chain. I want to do my best to support this uh, the community. Um, I just started doing videos a couple of days ago, so, you know, I wasn't really in the mind space to have gotten anything out uh, when the exploit was taking place, but I am here now and I will continue to cover the situation to the best of my abilities as it progresses. So let's get into it. Um, on the 18th, the team jumped on Twitter to announce that they were investigating a security issue with the protocol. They paused all activity at which time the only activity that you could take. So they more specifically or more accurately, they paused certain features of the protocol, right? So you can lend, you can borrow. They also have some other features, uh, one of which was where the exploit actually took place. But, um, you know, you could do deposits and borrows during the period of the exploit. They stopped the deposit and borrow features and the strategy features where the exploit actually took place. The only thing that you could do at that time um, is withdraw. Uh, me directly being affected in the situation it wasn't so great that I could withdraw and people were kind of saying the same thing in the discord was, yeah, I mean, you could withdraw your funds, but you were just going to get liquidated if things uh, didn't end up going your way. Right. Um, a lot of us are using leverage like myself. Personally, I uh, used a looping strategy where I did a deposit borrowed against it redeposited that a couple of times to lever up my position and kind of amplify uh, my my gains um, for the OP rewards. I'm really loving OP rewards uh, right now with the whole OP narrative. That's a little bit besides the point here. Uh, just to kind of continue with the narrative. So when they froze all of the activity besides the withdrawals on the, uh, the protocol, they went and reached out to the hacker and uh, you know began efforts to see if they can regain any of those funds. At this moment, there hasn't been, to my understanding, or like any posting in the Discord of a response from the hackers or you know any progress on getting the uh the seven plus million dollars that were uh that that were uh, taken from the exploit now uh pretty quickly the team was able to find the source of the problem uh which was an issue in the way that the smart contracts controlling strategies um, were implemented that allowed the hackers to exploit and steal the money. Um, so the strategies, they have like an automated leverage and deleverage feature. That's these two here uh, on the left and in the middle. And then they, because uh, one of the the, inf the one of the main features of the protocol is the fact that you have variable interest markets uh, based on you know the supply and demand for uh, borrowing and lending, but then you also have these fixed rate pools. So what they did was they made these automated strategies so that you can automatically roll over your debt positions and go back and forth between uh, the fixed rate and variable pools. And again, I'm not super certain on the specifics as to whether it was the maximize, the reduce, the refinancing feature. Um, we're still waiting to get more clarity 
um, or I, I am anyway, if you do have that clarity or that information, please do um, uh, drop that information down in the comments and I'll include that information when I do the next update video. Uh, of course, I've been keeping an eye on uh, communications in the announcement section of the Discord, just trying to stay on top of things. I personally felt like it was responsible for me to just protect my money um, and withdraw as soon as things became live. So again, on the 19th, and here we are. So if we go to the 19th, yeah. So it, as of the 19th, the protocol was unpaused and uh, all of the normal operations were able to be resumed. And as expected, TVL fell off of a cliff. Uh, for those who are seeking opportunity, I mean, the rates on... The pools are high. Um, I don't know if I would recommend. I personally, again, have withdrawn my funds until we get more information. We haven't gotten any information about like what the team's going to do, how big the hole is um, to kind of shore up confidence. And we're again, we're seeing that on the Discord work. We're, we're seeing that. Um, that uncertainty around what's going to happen next with the protocol play out in the Discord. So um, I'll be very happy to see when we get that information. Uh, maybe we'll get an AMA. Uh, that's what I'm hoping for. That's what I asked for in the Discord. We're just waiting to hear back from core developers. And, um, you know, I do want to commend the developers for being pretty responsive in terms of when the initial exploit activity happened on chain, they did jump right on it. They did um, very quickly go and pause the contracts to to try to get a handle on what was going on. So I will give that to them. They very quickly plugged the hole to resume activity uh, on the protocol within a day. I think that that was great. And even though the protocol really suffered for it, um, with all of the flight of liquidity, people pulling out their money, ultimately, they did make good on their promise to ensure that people were able to get access to their funds. Uh, so I'll leave it at that. Uh, again, if you have any more information that would help me to spread the word about what's going on, definitely do drop that in the comments. And uh, until next time, thank you so much for joining me. I'll catch you later. Peace.